Right, so we have a truly massive leak regarding AirPods 3 that could get Timothy quite angry because this delves into our first look at the design, features, price, release date, pretty much everything you need to know about them. So without further ado, let's just delve in. So make sure to like and subscribe, click that bell notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so there's one thing I need to mention before I delve into the report. One small tiny thing, and that is the source. 52 Audio isn't very credible. In fact, they've been caught faking leaks in the past. Now, weirdly enough, this fake leak in question was actually regarding AirPods 3 because they had some x-ray images of the case and yeah, someone later proved that they were fake. So definitely take the information with a humongous pinch of salt. Though guys, if they're faking this report too, I have to admit, they've done a bloody good job because these renders and images of the AirPods 3 look pretty legit to me. Like I can see Apple doing this and so I do think this information might be somewhat credible. Anyways, with that disclaimer aside, let's actually delve into the design of AirPods 3 because, yeah, essentially, these are AirPods 2 and AirPods Pro having a baby. So you can see that the AirPods 3 have a very similar case size to the AirPods 2, but the buds themselves have a smaller stem and the pressure vents that we see on AirPods Pro. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is that in some images we see silicon tips and in some others we just don't. And so that begs the question, is Apple going to give us a customizable fit you see on AirPods Pro or the universal fit you have on AirPods? Personally, I just hope that Apple continues to give us both options because I feel like not everybody likes the silicon tips of the Pros. I definitely found them to be quite uncomfortable, hence why I'm still using AirPods 2. So yes, I really do hope that the silicon tips pictured in these images are an optional accessory to AirPods 3 and you don't have to use them if you don't want them. But yes, overall, design-wise, it's very AirPods Pro-esque. Now this same philosophy is applied to the feature list of AirPods 3 too because pretty much everything new here are just features from AirPods Pro. So for example, we see the vents on the side. This is used on AirPods Pro to basically equalize the pressure within the ear to remove any discomfort. And so yes, for prolonged periods of use, AirPods 3 will be slightly more comfortable with these pressure vents. In addition to that, you might notice that there is an LED charging indicator on the front of the case. And so yes, we can assume that wireless charging will be standard on AirPods 3. Because in case you don't know, we have two versions of AirPods 2. We have the ultimate Broke Boy Edition, the wide pair, which of course have the LED indicator inside the case. And then for $50 more, you have the wireless versions, which of course have the LED indicator on the front, much like we see in the images of AirPods 3. In terms of how you control these new AirPods 3, they'll be very similar to the AirPods Pro. So instead of the tap on the side we have right now, we're gonna have the touch sensors on the AirPods Pro. Now in terms of battery life, this is where the report gets a little odd to me because Mark Gurman from Bloomberg claimed that the next pair of AirPods will have a significant improvement when it comes to battery life. But 52 audio claims battery life will be the same as the current pair. Now, yes, I know that five hours of playback time with AirPods 2 is fine for most people, and so carrying that over with AirPods 3 is really not a huge issue. But you see, having more battery life is something that will improve the long-term performance of AirPods, because of course, these guys have pretty minuscule batteries and they don't age very well. For example, 
I had to replace my AirPods 2 a while back because the battery life with my original pair was getting really bad. And so having the extra battery life right from the get go obviously means the battery degradation with prolonged use won't be as bad. So yes, I really do hope that we see better battery life with AirPods 3. Anyways, going back to the specs, we have one more thing to delve into and that is spatial audio, which essentially enables you to experience surround sound technology with your AirPods, which is pretty sick to be honest. But of course, like I mentioned, because I'm a broke boy, I can't use it because AirPods Pro exclusively have the feature right now. And so 52 Audio believes this feature is very likely to come with AirPods 3, which of course is a great thing. Now, of course, to those AirPods Pro users looking to flex, you might wonder what's the point in having the Pros if AirPods 3 is literally taking away all the exclusive features. Well, actually, of course, you might have noticed there is one feature that's missing on AirPods 3, a big feature of AirPods Pro, and that is active noise cancellation. So yes, it seems that will remain the big upgrade with AirPods Pro. If you want ANC, you have to get AirPods Pro and honestly that's not a huge bummer to me. I never really found ANC much of a need in my life and so yes I'm completely fine with AirPods 3 not including this feature. Anyways we now come to the two final tidbits and that is price and release date. Now of course I really want these to start at the same price as the wired edition of AirPods 2 so $159. But honestly, since this new pair of AirPods shares so much from its bigger sibling, I feel like this might start at $200 instead. Especially considering the wireless version of AirPods 2 is $200 and these come with wireless charging as standard, it makes sense that Apple slightly increases the price and of course they can somewhat justify it because you're getting so many upgrades and so many features from the higher end pro. In fact, the elect who is a somewhat reliable source also thinks the same. So yes, I think it's likely we see AirPods 3 start at $200 instead. Finally, let's delve into the release date. And honestly, we have some pretty fishy information about this because according to 52 Audio, we could be seeing AirPods 3 at the beginning of March. So in about a week or so at the time of filming, this seems very unlikely to me. Now, yes, I'm aware that AirPods 2 did launch in March, and of course, Apple quietly releasing these via press release does seem pretty logical, but do remember that more credible leakers like John Prosser and Min Shi Kuo have already said a March release is unlikely and that we should see them in April alongside a new pair of AirPods Pro 2. But tell me in the comments below, are you thinking of getting AirPods 3? Personally, if they don't come with silicon tips and they have the universal fit that I prefer, and of course the pro features, then yes, I'll gladly upgrade, even if they are slightly more expensive. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video here in the icon above about the Magic Keyboard 2 that could be launching with the iPad Pro pretty soon. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.